So there's something over there, and this is the this is the dwarven dwarven uh, cave. This must be the Macmordine's cuddle. I think uh, I knew that uh, it was somewhere close. I recall Mac is the dwarven for mine or cave or something like that. Now, considering the dwarves are no friends of Mordor, they might be of some assistance to us, assuming they don't take exception to Korat here. Do we investigate or not? Yes. The tunnels were damp. To the silver sliver seemed seems either roof which stretched over the heads was the tall enough that they didn't have to crouch. Locklear felt hent by the shaft. He was privately thankful that wars were larger than what they were given. I, I think it was like credit in the story. And this is the place where you, where you actually need these torches. So we have like, we have only two. Uh, five. Ten. Okay, let's start this. Okay, yes. Okay, what's happening? Sparks rocketed down the corridor, slamming open flat against mines of walls. Locklear narrowly leaped for cover himself as something skidded along the rocky floor. Abruptly, the glowing cone of the fire wrinkled out of existence as it collided with the unseen wall. After several long heartbeats, the signor peeled himself away from the mall, wall just in the time to meet the gaze of the short, a tree stump of a man. Bloody awful hammer! You best have a demon in your bones. You have come to take a whack at killing the beastie, have you not? Beastie? Beastie, I a week ago we heard something fierce, bang, and the mind terrible cold like. Of course, Dwarf knows the sound of instant when there is his heard before nor. Blackner, curse of every de whole delver since the fort first stars took up the hammers. I never heard of them. No one has quite uh, a while, the laddie. There hasn't been a park nor in the upper mines for well on since uh, Delong the Great laid claim onto the Kingdom of the Isles. We thought we had laid low for the lot of them, but the kobolds are stirring them up uh, on the equipment. Kobolds? Your folk, uh, called them gnomes, they used to worship the dragon that lived down here, but when the dragon disappeared they thought the Darwin folk hid him away. Maybe now and again, again their leader, Fadir, takes a notion to undertake Holy Quest to f find him. This time they must have woke up the clutch of Black Nur, that the Nur have collapsed the main passage uh, and killed 30 of our kind. We are reward whoever can do, uh, do, do it in, if you are of a mind, have the spirit that is. I'm not saying we are interested in killing your Barak Nur. But we are looking for it. What would be like? Half of your hate and made of stone, like a living rock they are. From out of no still they breathe a green mist, but I'd be wary of getting too close to look, for they drop a few boulder on your head, sure, you know. I already have a few bravos that come to try a hand of at killing the beastie, but there's not much they have been able to do uh, themselves beyond. Get them, uh, themselves so mangled they needed the help uh, of the temple. I would be, I would be as wary uh, of them as I would be able to be a uh, beastie. Uh, they, none of them wait uh, what else but tend to claim the gold that uh, we have over for the creature slayer. The thing way things have been going for straight and perhaps we would be well to seek the little help of the temples as well. Where's the closest ones? This is actually important information. We don't much dull as at Great Hours or Stone Mountain, but I 
as Ken tees a temple Kirian bevigs the tune and hugs hollow. Okay. And then this also might be a temple is up there. Here close, but I can't recall exactly where that would be. Armor repair. Sports. Um, okay, so he's, he's uh, teaching us weapon crafting if we pay him. Yes. The part piece weapon craft ability has improved. 55, 27, he healed as well. And 64. Pretty good. Okay, so this, this had actually an auto map, so you can't actually see the whole, whole uh, dungeon. Feels like an old school uh, Eye of Beholder. this goes. I wonder if there's cobbles around. Okay, so this is a bit different. Okay, so this is lock we can't actually open. And there's, there might be uh, like uh, pitfalls in, in, in the dungeon here. And you can get o over them with the rope. And which is one of the few 3D uh, tricks I, I have seen in this game. How we are doing with the, with the torches. I mean this is basically using the same kind of rules than Dungeons and Dragons used. So you have like limited amount of time. Okay, there's a people around. Let's save. We are set then. We try to ambush the someone or something scream the morning. So these are I think these are goblins. That's not what I want. hit the mage. <laughs> so luckily he is he's fast. Oh no I mean uh, so he can he can escape, actually escape. Ouch. Run away, run away. <laughs> yeah, can't do anything. The open is, is going to be like... Or, or D. 
decoy for now. Okay. Search the bodies. This auto map was really advanced back back in the day. I mean, many many games didn't have this kind of auto map. Although I I think the developers must must have played like Dungeon Master or Eye of Beholder, and it it I think it some games did have this kind of feature. Dungeon Master is really old. Money, yes please. Okay, there's a goblins around. And you really can't tell these are goblins. <laughs> this is so low resolution. And the guy with the yellow pants is a magician. I think this might might actually hurt. Okay, they, 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 they are a bit slower. Okay, he's down. So he can actually throw the stuff to others, but can't can't actually use them. Oh, and checking the inventory is taking your turn away. Good to know. Ouch. Not going well. I think Owen should have those healing drinks. Just because. Yes, he hit once. Okay, the third, two, second guy is down. Okay, so he can actually rest during the battle. Uh, I almost forget this mechanic existed. So you can actually heal during the battle. Like this. <laughs> okay. Wait a bit. Yeah, I totally forget this mechanic. Yeah, you, you can heal during the battle without any...
Okay, and there's, but there's lots of enemies. Worshippers of Uisva, the Jerry Red Jolt Hunter. Dore Uisva ordains that you, you shall be his prey. Ouch. But I, I have ever done that deserve that. Also, I wonder where I get more spells. Okay, you can be the blind guy. He's back, back at the action. Okay, you don't sh shoot anymore. It actually took some time, but we could actually make a <laughs> Obun as a, as a battle mage, finally, in the, uh, towards the end of this game. Okay, that was good damage. Okay, she's down, ouch. I managed to heal uh, Obun a bit. And it would be nice if his melee skills some, sometimes sometime would be would be growing. Okay, there's more more of those. situation. Ouch, open this down. Okay, 
No one gets left behind, Lograh shot back angrily. No one, get your things and we move. We'll find a healer for you along the way. We can help. I wonder what's the outcome of this near death. Oh yeah, so you need to like track him to the temple to correct this. That's that's why you don't go to battle without healing drinks. Because even this this would like Everyone has a healing drinks now. And you, you, you could actually use it. Yeah. Much better. Ouch. So he's focusing on defense. But this is fine, I guess. Okay, good, good thing. This is good practice. At least. Keep yourself alive. Yeah, cloaks and staffs are not really <laughs> anything to mention about in a, in a sword fight. So defense came up. And this is pretty good because he needs a defense to stay alive. Alright. Two legs it has and this will confound only at rest to the dust account. Two legs it has and this will confound only at rest they will touch the ground so he had legs and they are going to touch the, touch the ground table would be like four legs two legs it has and this will confound only at rest they touch the ground Yeah, it, it, it's a word play. Ah. Okay, rope four. So I have a I have a story about ropes. So my friend was playing this uh, during the studies. I think the year was twenty uh, two thousand and one, and uh, these, these uh, ropes are things you use to get across the pit. Now, he got over the pit and it was dead end, but then he noticed that he didn't have any, any ropes. So you can actually throw yourself into, into uh, really... Defend, uh, abil one's ability to defend oneself during the combat. You get it. King of Barandur, God of Light. So this is like very fancy light light source. Okay, he has full loadout. 
two. Not much use. So there's a armor and weapons here. But I need to return to Lamut. Yeah, so basically... What's this? Yeah, it, it's a dead end. So we haven't even found the way to the... To the bottom. Or rather next level. The most corridor. And so we are going to get it. And... And this was pretty pretty mar marvelous back back in the day that you could actually find the stuff later. Uh, except when you are dungeon. Okay, so es escaping the dungeon is going to like remove all the loot. The Bragnur. Okay, so it was on the this level. Okay, it does look like a stone monster. sound effect. So now he's hitting back, so we hit him again. Stomp Ari. Come on, guys. Try to hit. Even Mage can hit him. angry. And it's finally done. Koratla slid away from the dead black Paragnur. His tongue felt thick and adhesive, a bitter chalting taste lingering in his mouth and nostrils. He I didn't expect that the creature to emit the straight little cloud when it died, but he was glad the battle was finally over. One thing air, Gorat turned uh, and nearly stumbled over a small grinning dwarf. You have done it! I heard the conflagration down the shaft, but I have no idea it was happening. Congratulations! Right now, uh, I think we all could just use a rest. A rest you'll have, and you'll needing it. You have to have your strength to be carrying about all the gold in reverse. Well done. The dwarf handed Locklear a pouch of gold coins, then disappeared down the damp, damp shaft of the mine. So, he, it's... Ah, there's a chest. He has been guarding a chest. Morotas. Hello, hello. Morova. Tämä peli on vuodelta 93.
Okay. Kill their pass key. Somehow I had shouted, hurrying down the corridor to see what the cause of the commotion was. And Locklear was halted by the angry looking dwarf. Nah, further lad, the dwarf and uh, followed. I don't care what the nether might have not have told you about, but it's going down there. We have enough to uh, to kill out this mess without you are interfering. You must go now back to the way you came. And let us get to back to our work. When the dwarf couldn't be reasoned with, Locklear lobbed back into the corridor. So basically this is this is place we are going to uh, go into the endgame. Alright, so... Nice, 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 nice. This, this is how it <laughs> should go. A room that isn't made uh, totally on the square. What heresy is this? Okay, arvotusarkku. Riddle, riddle chest. Round as an apple, deep as a cup. All the bitter sea couldn't fill it up. What is it? Tämä on näitä tämän ajan peliä, milloin kirjoitettiin, kirjoitettiin ylös asioita. PS. Nah, Siiv, eli, eli sihti. Siiv. Round as a apple, deep as a cup, but the bitter sea can't fill it up. Sihti. Journal. Actually, it might not be quest item. Just an item for flavor. Ru Ruarks. Who or what was Ruark and what is his uh, chamber? I overheard something about talking. I mean, overheard my toes. You have been poking around, haven't you? No harm in it, though. Ruark was a great beastie, a dragon. For centuries I've lived here and in the Mac Mordain, but he passed on the last uh, near ten year ago. I've heard of King Dolgan say, End of Consort, Thomas was present when Rugard passed on. Oh, alright, I have read, read about this. But I'm scared to believe it. The chamber is a marvel, though. Buried somewhere beyond the dead or digging. Is uh, at the moment, at the one time, there was quite a bit of treasure there. Unfortunately, luck, amount of coincidence or chest be, be more worth her or looks. And perhaps there may still be come back later. I may have, we'll see it together. Word locks. So he is explaining the word locks. Like we haven't seen them before. Mineliven. Äh, no Minecraftia pelan. Siis mä en oo Minecraftia pelannu kyllä aikoihin. Äh, mä olin niinku Minecraft edussa kehittäjänä. Periaat kehittäjänä. Siis on viimeisessä koulutuksessa ollut mukana harjoittelijani. Joo, kehittäjä kyllä. En ole mitään oikeita kehitystöitä tehnyt, mutta Minecrafti edu oli ihan hyvä. Uh, Minecraft Edu was, was uh, education version of the Minecraft Java. Uh, version was 1.7, but then Microsoft bought the 
bought the Minecraft and it bought the, as, as well the education version that was, was made by the five more minutes. normaalia minecraftia. Joo, en mä, en mä oo sitä kyllä niinku pelannut aikoi. Ja mulla on kohtuullisen pitkä toi backlogi, että, että niin, niin kestää aika pitkään päästä peleihin, kun on niin paljon pelattavaa. Esimerkiksi niinku nuo Jakutsa-pelit, niin siinä meni about niinku tyyliin puoli vuotta, kun opiskelija ehdotti, että mun kannattais kokeilla. Niin mä sitten niinku, siinä meni puoli vuotta, että mä pääsin aloittamaan. Et niinku tämmöstä me... Tämmöstä puhutaan, mutta joo, en mä, en mä minecraft striima ajatellu olla, koska on ensinnäkin aivan liikaa niinku tekemistä, ja sulla pitäisi olla jonkinlainen artistinen visio nykyään siihen, siihen Minecraftiin. Et mitä sä haluat oikeesti sillä tehdä. Uusia pelejä mä kyllä kokeilen, se, se niinku uusi Minecrafti oli ihan, ihan mielenkiintoinen kokeilus. Chun uh, Chun should be right in front of us. Door, door swinged open. Bleary eyed and smelling for of alcohol, the forties looking man sneezed at them. Well, what do you want? He shouted. I out of it. We were hoping you could give us directions. Directions, directions, the man eyes placed as he sneered the wine bottle from the door. I'll give you directions. Before Locklear could react, he felt the impact of the wine bottle against his skull. Okay. So the man threw a bottle at us. Locklear knocked the door of the small wooden house. They invited patiently for someone to answer. After several seconds, a woman appeared and ushered them inside. I don't have time to talk unless it's really important, sirs. I have finished preparing some mushrooms that I picked up for the shopkeeper over the cakes. He really ran out hailing restoratives yesterday. And you know what they say? You can kill me, but you can't eat me. That's the strange expression of said. What does it mean? To tell the truth, I don't know. <laughs> the woman replied, her face brightening with a white green. It was something that Baron Kevin used to say. Never could make any uh, sense out of it. Now, if you excuse me, I really must be running along. Don't anyone's about. Place is abandoned. Bowstring. Mm, I don't think you need to need this too often. Eli, eli tässä on niinku ollaan ihan pelin alussa. So I'm explaining the story. So we started over there and we have a, uh, meillä, meillä on tosiaan niinku haltia loikkari tuolta pohjoisesta, jotta tää, tää meidän Locklear tässä on saattamassa etelään tuonne äh, prinssin hoviin, Grondoriin. Ja sen perässä on hirveä kanssa salamurha, ja tässä vaiheessa tarinaa me ei oikeastaan tiedetä minkä takia. There's a temple. World. Striding between the columns of the temple, Locklear made for the heavy wooden doors, which had been sealed against the daylight, and which preserved the privacy of any ceremonies in progress. Pulling the tessel rope, which hung next to the door, he evaded the response of the door warden. 
The meditation chamber was spartan and strange and cold. Seemingly all the colder for the heatless flame which burned in the holy censer. The only bow that had been made to adornment of the temple appeared to be a strange pattern that had been etched upon the wall. Okay, so you can actually teleport between the temples. I see the mandala interest to you. Turning Leclerc noticed the thin young man standing at in the archway, his hands hidden in the folds of the rope. What the relations between temples and the new Academy of Magic as Tardock have been cool. This one of the treasures they have passed to the Surani magic. It has given us great mobility. Mobility? Locklear asked. How can a painting help you move? The acolyte smiled. It would be easier to explain by the example than me about the place. You are familiar with a place where you have been spent a good deal of time. Locklear struck this grammar place. He had grown up the layout of the rooms, the various things associated with this home. Very good. As you Chris described those things to me, doubtless you have also experienced certain memories, through which you were able to live your past. In the same way, this man does help you locate a place. But when there's a pattern painted on the wall, a specific temple, we may feel ourselves there. I could think my way home with this. No, the memory of your home would be too unfocused for you to make the attempt. But if you were to memorize this pattern, you could return here by recalling the its image in your mind when assisted by the power of another temple. So basically this is fast travel. Uh, Locklear looked back at the mandala lost in thought for a moment, he says, soaking up up the intricacies of it. I assumed there would be some fee as is associated with moving between locations. The acolyte nodded, as simple as it is in concept, it still requires a great deal of effort to move even single individual, though I am told to run a great one's move about uh, with less effort. I believe Puck wished to restrict our knowledge of this some ways until we have proven we would not abuse this power, its power. A bell sounded. Abruptly, a darkly beast swept in the room and came to halt behind Locklear. I felt all entered that you might desire to use the mandala. Desired, perhaps, but I haven't seen any other symbols, Locklear said. I don't suppose you could go with us. I'm regret that I cannot assist you, the priest said. My duty is required to stay here to guide others that wish to arrive. I'm sorry. The fire was cold. Unnerved by the unnatural flame, Leclerc decided to explore elsewhere. So teleport uh, service enter. Locklear pearl took curtains aside. Rear section of the temple was dramatic as was the meditation chamber. A large pool occupied the center of the lush courtyard and was hemmed on all sides by an alabaster perisite style with climping vines cloistered immediately of the open area where several arches doorways either blocked by heaven, heavily woven curtains or choked with clouds of, of obscuring incense. Nearby, a gong sounded immediately pierced Harriet out of the doorway, halting as he got sight of the unexpected supplicants. So we can curb less talk. Uh, they were shown to a cane chamber here. There were no flagstones, chip tiles underneath their feet, but instead the thick chalk carpet of grass chilled with dew. At the far end of the room, a pair of your tears overarched. A throne of woven reed, upon which was seated strikingly looking woman, her shoulder length black hair bound behind her back with a green cord. I'm a high priestess of this temple, she said musically. Killian will welcomes you to her domain. Come be seated. Listening with keen interest of the stories by Locklear, a priestess remained as as motionless as a statue, at least she folded her hands her lap and slightly heavily. It was most entertaining. I particularly liked the part 
about the drunk, <laughs> but I would advise you the future keep an eye on the food you eat. You should simply gulp down the first thing you find without taking a look at it first. <laughs> Properly castigated, Locklear shrugged his shoulders and promised he wouldn't be more careful. In the future, cheered he wouldn't be mind when the high priest escorted them from the room. Which of your items should you like placed today? A priest asks. I've always wondered why the price of blessing varied from item to item. Does it have something to do with gods? Rather more to do with how the item was made, the priest explained if there were any special metals used in construction or spells used to bend the metal, then they would be uh, became factors how difficult it was to make a blessing, blessing stick. Then he crossed out on to the page, he tapped the fixture. Ah, there is it. For a broad sword, it will be 34 summoners, the priest said. Yes, please. Your weapon has been enchanted. Use it to praise upon the great wheel, but you. So. That's plus five. And that's it's 58. So I arrange to enchant the armor. <laughs> That's 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 expensive. So both of these are pretty cheap, and but this is going to be like eleven armor, almost two hundred. That's crazy. Huh. Well, beggars can be choosers. So basically this is going to counter the racial modification minuses that might, might come from that. And this has better place type. So this is like... Not, not really advanced temple. But we got a, uh, some bonuses, and a plus five percent is is something that's going to be uh, that's 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 not like uh, something you you shouldn't discount. <laughs> 